back. All right, everybody, I am now here with a mystery man named Patrick. Patrick, mystery man, what do you do? So, uh, my name is Patrick. Uh, no, really? I know. Uh, so, the name of our company is NERG, which is green spell backwards, and we are a social enterprise that uh, empowers green companies and eco-friendly entrepreneurs, allows consumers to find eco-friendly and green consumer products for all their needs, and allows tens of thousands of editorial sites to continue to publish and educate by making more money than they currently are today. So, at our core, we're a marketplace for eco-friendly goods. We're merchants of any size. From Patagonia to literally my mom who makes organic cranberry sauce. Wow. So it's not just the big guys that you actually open your doors to the smaller players. So we have companies like Patagonia to literally a lot of the people that are selling on Etsy, uh, mm -hmm. selling on us to people that are doing wholesale, a million goods, already direct to consumer, but selling on our platform to get exposure to, to new, new individuals. Yeah. How are you getting people to join your platform? So the merchant acquisition side has been um, actually pretty easy. I mean, we've only been live for three months. That's been our primary focus. We haven't really focused on driving traffic yet okay. for, from a consumer standpoint. So honestly, there's just there's so many more green companies out there um, that have so many incredible stories that you know, just don't know about yeah. unless you just search a little. Right. So going to trade shows, honestly going to other e-commerce sites, yep. looking at what products they have. And they're just emailing some information, and you know, once we get them on the phone or meet them, I mean, our conversion rate is uh, like 75, 80 percent. Wow. Do you do partnerships with, you know, like mommy bloggers that are green? Like, there's a site called um, Eco Mommy, I think, that would yes. be a good one. So we work with blogs in two ways. One is we, you know, we're a marketplace. We're definitely focused on traffic right. uh, and commerce, but at the same time, we also have content and community. So we have. 10 content partners now that are giving us two to three articles a week, okay. uh, pardon me, two to three articles a month, plus our own written content. Right. So when you come to NERG, you can learn how to be eco-friendly, you know, how to prepare for Halloween in an eco-friendly manner and stuff like that, and we're taking those articles and pushing it out through our feed. So for the blogs, it's, hey, give us one or two articles a month, yeah. um, great for their SEO, great for their branding, and for mm -hmm. us, it's a way to entertain our consumers. Mm -hmm. um, on the flip side, how we're going to extend working with them is, you know, once we aggregate, our goal is to really aggregate the most amount of eco-friendly goods in one place, right? We're a marketplace and a platform. Um, and once we have 50,000, 100,000 items in one place, we can now go out and power the e-commerce sections of all these blogs. So we're kind of like open sky for green. Right. right. Okay. That's so, a great analogy. Yeah, so we can go out and say, hey, take 10 items you like or take our whole feed of organic items, and now they have their own e-commerce section that we can host for them, put up in two hours, and now use their... Um, their consumers and the advice that they give them to direct them to the products they want, um, and then they can buy those products and not even leave the site. Are you looking to also build community around the platform? Yeah. So, okay. you know, we haven't really launched a lot of that yet simply because we're new and we haven't really focused too much on the consumer side except from a UI. Right. But we're not looking to be a social network. Sorry. But we, we are looking. You can hit the microphone really. But we are looking to be social, right? So, you know, we and that's what I want to talk about just in general is, you know, maybe best practices too. I mean, we are here at Social Media Week. Yeah. So based on what you've looked at, you know, yeah. maybe case studies or, you yeah. know, just other companies you admire, yeah. like who, who do you look to in terms of a good social media strategy? I mean, I think obviously Etsy is a great example. Okay. Um, their community is much more focused on the merchant side. Right. Um, but, you know, they have forms around, you know, not only how you build eco-friendly goods and stuff and mm -hmm. handmade goods and vintage. Um, I think we're also going to have a community around the merchants on our site and stuff. Right. But we hope to have a community room around, hey, Santa Monica Farmer's Market. Oh, yeah. Right? Um, yeah. Hey, Halloween, how to do uh, a green. Infinity groups. Yes, infinity yeah. groups. So have infinity groups and stuff and, and have those those comments and discussions that they're having push out to their social network. So not be a social network, but be very um, social about it. And I think the other way we're looking to be social uh, since it's Social Media Week is really make it easy for individuals to label themselves as eco-friendly. Oh. Right? I mean, okay. it's a status symbol. Exactly. You know, most people aren't going to tell them their friends yeah. that they bought a $400,000 or $400 pair of boots. But they might tell all their friends that they bought it. Well, I don't know. There's some. There's some. Like there's certain things out there, applications where you can say exactly what you're buying these right. days. Uh, you know what? I, and you know, uh, one of them just raised 11 million dollars. So exactly. Uh, so some people do. Um, but I think the average person probably isn't going to open a feed. Um, but do I think that if they find a merchant they're passionate about? Um, or if they get something that says after they buy a pair of organic shoes saying, hey, tell your friends you support eco-friendly entrepreneurs. Oh, 
What and what? Sorry. What also? Yeah. What about um, if you are constantly buying from a certain merchant yeah. and they don't have a loyalty program? Right. Um, could you possibly, because you have the merchant side of it, let that merchant know, hey, here's a list of, of customers that are your loyal customers. Yeah. Do something special for them. Sure, and we're putting in a referral fee system, yeah. right? So not only for affiliate programs for content sites and stuff mm -hmm. and the co-hosted e-commerce sections, but sure, for consumers themselves, yeah. right? To say, hey, you love this merchant. You should take a widget and say, right. I love these guys. I buy all my cosmetics from them. Yeah. They're eco-friendly. They support the environment. Yeah. And every item you buy, I make money off of. Yeah. Right, so, and we're doing that, we're, gonna, we're starting to go out and, and do that with celebrities who are eco-friendly, who have nonprofits they want to support and say, hey, you should, athletes saying, hey, you should sponsor our athletic and sports division. Pick your favorite items and all the money that you make through your Twitter feed and Facebook and stuff and people coming back, right, are now, uh, that money now goes to your nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So, it's the idea of personal affiliate programs, right. yeah, that's no brand. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to add? I mean, is the site live now for, for people yeah. to sign up? So we've been live for three months, uh, have just been bootstrapping it to date. Uh, we say we're internet guys who are passionate about the green space. Um, so, you know, we have over 100 um, merchants signed up, over 1,000 goods, um, and have done that with very little resources. And uh, now we're just looking to focus on getting the message out to merchants um, and also consumers and start putting in deals of the day and stuff like that. Uh, someone just went, whoa, back there. I think they were saying, nerg. Well, you know it. And I'm being really loud, sorry everybody. <laughs> um, so we've got an amazing audience of yes. people here that I'm sure many of many of them are probably green yep. or they're all social media savvy, I'm pretty sure if they're watching a live stream. So how can they help you? Sure, so I would say obviously we're still looking for as many merchants as possible. Right. So if you know of a green company, if you are an eco-friendly merchant, you know, shoot us an email. At at simply info at nerg.com or you N E E R G. N E E R G Green Spell Backwards. Um, you know, we're obviously looking to partner with editorial sites that cover the green space, so we'd love to talk to you on that side. Um, and then honestly on the tech side, I mean, we're a young company, we're putting more time into our platform, but if you have um, a company that does a feature or a product that might be easier for us to implement, we'd love to hear from you. And, um, you know, we are just starting the process of looking at possibly bringing on some, fin some financing. So. Um, if you love the idea, more than happy to talk about. Well, plenty of plenty of people that could help you out there here at Startup Demo during I'm Social Media Week. Trying. So. I'm doing my best. <laughs> so, I assure you. Well, I won't I won't capture you here much longer because you probably need to get down there to do that networking, and there are plenty of people down there from the looks of it. So, yeah. Mystery Man Patrick with NERG, thank you for joining All right, us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> See you again soon. Okay.